Can I sit here? I wouldn't ask, only he was here all alone, and there's no other place except up at the counter by that thumb. I, uh, I won't be too long. I couldn't even if I wanted. You see, I work here, and they only give me 20 minutes lunch break. <laughs> I guess you could probably tell from my uniform that I work here. Just like I can tell, you're a cop. Because you got a uniform, too. <laughs> Napoleon bum keeps 
stealing. Beep, we've talked about this before. That poor man is entitled to as many napkins as he needs. He served yeah, our country. Yeah, 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 I've heard it all before. He served our country, and now you expect me to serve him like he's a prince or something. Didn't it never occur to him that he's been lying to you? <laughs> <laughs> He's robbing you blind! We're talking about a handful of napkins and a few sugar packets. Stealing is stealing. Besides, you don't look like no war veteran. Look at him all old and crippled up and all. I'm sure he was a lot younger during World War II. <laughs> Go out and fill up those napkin holders and see if he needs anything else. Don't worry. I'll do my job. But you just keep in mind that I ain't working for free. He don't give no tips and you ain't making any money on him either. The least I can do for a war veteran. Uh, Napoleon ain't a war veteran. I tell you, he's just a bum living off others. My taxes are supporting him, I bet. His and name is Billy. Now you go and wait on him. There's one born every minute. At least I'm not standing around, passing the time of day, listening to a bunch of old made-up stories. Maybe you should spend some time listening to his stories, B. You just might learn oh, something. <laughs> I ain't going to learn nothing. You never said a truer word. Now fill up the napkins. <clears throat> Day, by the way, that'll be uh, seven fifty. I'm Eric. <coughs> there you go. Exact change. Hey, I wanted to ask you about that old guy over there. Not from around here, are you? How'd you know that? Everybody knows old Billy. Uh, that waitress, uh, B. She called him Napoleon. She always makes things sound like a bigger deal than they really are. Well, she made him sound like, well, like he might cause some trouble. <laughs> Billy has never been in any trouble. B, on the other hand, I guess she just likes to sound important. Don't let her worry you. I really wasn't too worried about the napkins. Or the sugar. 
<laughs> Seriously though, he doesn't have dementia or think he is, say, Napoleon or something like that. Or he hides his hand like that because it's misshapen from an injury. I've seen the purple heart. So he is a bear. And the cows? There's no denying Billy likes to tell a good story, but that about being a cowboy on a Pacific island? Yeah, that's true too. See, he was in the rodeo before he went to the war, and I guess the Marines figured he'd be a good one to help get the herd in shape after the war. Well, B's right about one thing. He looks a lot more like a bum than he does a hero. Well, looks can definitely be deceiving. You ought to go over there and introduce yourself. He loves to chat with folks in uniform. I think I'll do just that. <clears throat> Hello there. I hear you're a war veteran. Yep. Marines. World War II. So you must have seen some action. That I did. But that was towards the beginning of my time in the Pacific. After I got out of the hospital, I spent most of my time helping rebuild Guam and the cowbird on Tin. I was a cowboy, you know. How about you? Have you been in the military? Actually, I just got out of the army. Right. No, I was stationed in South Korea at the DMZ. I'll tell you about it sometime, but I would love to hear about your time in the Pacific. Sure, sure. You see, we was the Marines that liberated the Chamorros from the Japanese. I wish you could have seen them people's faces coming up out of the Manangan Valley. That's what a concentration camp was. And I never forget them kids coming out of there too. All I had to give him at that time was a couple candy bars. There! Them's enough napkins for anyone that is any normal person. Napoleon, I am sick to death of you asking for all the napkins and sticking them in your pockets. Anyone that stooped to stealing napkins and used cowboy boots just can't be trusted. You go around telling them stories about being a cowboy on some tropical island in the Pacific Ocean. I sure hope you ain't swallowing all that nonsense. What's more, you ain't no veteran, neither. I got half a mind to make a citizen's arrest. Matter of fact, you just clean out them pockets of yours. I bet you stole more than just napkins. Go on now, I mean it. Clean out them pockets. I knew it. Ha, just look at all them napkins. See, officer, what am I telling you? Napoleon, that's stealing, plain and simple. Now, what else you got in there, hmm? I knew it. <laughs> Sugar packets, too. Huh. What you hiding? Come on, put it right on the... Hmm? What's that? Never seen a purple heart before. <clears throat> well, how about that? I'm in the presence of a real hero. It's okay, Dave. She's just looking out for you in the dining room. It's just her way of 
Well, it's just how she is. You're a good man, Billy. Now, let me get all these dirty plates and use napkins out of the way. Hey. What's your purple heart doing in the middle of all this rubbish? Well, that's what made her cry. I was fishing through my pockets and she got a look at it. And the tears started coming just like that. Why did you leave on the counter with the trash? Well, fact is, kind of make me feel real bad too. What are you talking about, Billy? She was nice to me. Gave me more coffee. Even called me by my name. And that Eric fella said as to how I was a hero. So what's wrong with that? It's about time. Dave, I ain't no hero. I'm just, I just happened to get my hand in the way of some Japanese bullet. And now B is over there crying, thinking she been mistreating a war veteran. Hebrew. It's really about time she saw the truth of the matter. You just can't go around making your own judgments about the way people are in this world. Can't you see? That's just it. She's right. I ain't no hero. I'm just a broken down old man freeloading on nice people still in their napkins. Because the real heroes the ones that gave their lives in the Pacific and later in Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and even Afghanistan. The real heroes, they gave their lives. The real ones, they here. Yep, they're heroes all right, Billy. So is everyone who serves.